Hi everyone, let's get started today. With the legs parallel, hip width apart, just roll down to your back and connect yourself to your breath. Inhaling through the nose, try to breathe laterally on your ribs, exhale through your mouth, melt in the back. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Try to really blow the air all the way out to activate the deep abdominal muscles. Two more. Now let's connect the pelvic rocks to the breath. Exhale through your mouth, tucking the pelvis. So when you tuck your pelvis, your low back, press the floor. Reactivate the hamstrings and the abdominals. Inhale to the nose. Rock your pelvis away. Opening this arch under your low back. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, arch. Watch to don't fully arch. It's not the entire spine. Okay, it's just the low back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Let's find a mid-turn, so we are in our neutral spine, mid back down, low back has a little arch, press the arms beside you. Engage your core, and take one leg up at a time to tabletop. Let's keep them together for now. Arms up to the ceiling, one palm facing another, and you're gonna reach the arms up, taking the shoulder blades off the floor, and bring them down and one to another. Exhale up. Inhale down. Three more. Two. And last one. Now that we found our shoulder girdle, make sure that you uh, connect them down. Flip the palms forward. We're going to curl up. Press the arms down, pull your navel in. Inhale, turn. Exhale up. Inhale, turn. Three more. And two. Last one. Hold up here. You have the option to bring your hands behind your head. Let's toe taps. So you want to maintain this 90 degree shape on your leg. Lowering the toes to tap the floor. And back up. Other side. And back. Two more each side. Exhale to tap it out, pulling the belly in for hip and pelvic stability. Last one. Lower the head down and take one leg down at a time. Now I'm going to turn my legs to second position. That's a, a turn to mean that the leg will turn out and a little wider than the hips. I'm going to have my arms beside my body, palms facing one another. Two movements in the same time. We're gonna hinge the hips up, turning on the glutes, the hamstrings and the abdominals and send the arms all the way back. Keep the arms back there, roll down through your spine. We are looking for some side body stretch. Neutral, arch in the low back. Hinge up, dig into your heels and lift. Break, roll down. Let's do three more here. And two. Last one. Hold up there. Bring one arm back and switch. Switch, long, firm arms. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Both arms up, reach down for the sky and roll the spine down or top. Figure four, left ankle on the right thigh, bring the right thigh to your chest, release your fingers behind the hamstrings, and just pull the leg to stretch. You feel the forms and your glutes on the left side. Return, pull again. Working through the biceps, not shoulders. Shoulders down. Two more. Last one. Hold. Extend the right leg up. Point. Flex. Point. And flex. Two more. We are also pressing the tailbone down to the floor. And bend. Bring it down to switch sides. Let's get to a side position now, on the forearm, legs together to start in Pilates B. Think about keeping lifting the waist right here, trying to find a flat line. Belly in, big chest. Now lift your top leg hip height. We're gonna flex the foot, kick forward, point, and kick back. Stop before you compensate, sending the chest forward. So keep that belly engaged. Forward. And back, or more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Now legs together, if you like this V, lower down here. So hands behind your head. Take both legs up. Activating your obliques. Inhale, down. Last five more. And even knowing the focus is on the obliques, we're still pulling the back in to decompress the spine. Four. Three. Make sure that your heels stay stacked together. Two. The last one. Lift and hold and tap five. Four. Three. Two. One. And lower down. Return up to the forearm. Free arm goes up. Now you're going to twist, send the belly up, lift the legs, pulling the belly in, lower down, turn to the side again. If you can, keep your legs in the air. If not, press them down. Five more. And four. Three. If this feels too much for you, tuck your knees to your chest. Sure. Two. And last one. Lower down. Let's just bend the knees. Help yourself up. Side bend. Over to the left. Turn, turn the legs to the other side, and now side bend. Ah, this one feels good. Let's come down to the other side. On the forearm to start, legs are in Pilates V, slightly in front of the hips, belly flat. Your arm can be up, can be on your hip, or can be in front of you. That's how I like better for stability. You're going to flex the foot, kick forward, inhale, point, draw the belly in, send the leg back, keeping the belly flat, looking for hip flexor stretch. And four. Three. And two. 
last one. Legs together. You wanna lower down, hands behind the head. Keep the heels very much together, belly in, press into your hands in front of your chest, lift both legs, working through the oblique. And up, five more. Down. One last lift and hold. Tap your heels together for six, five, and back in. Four, three, two, one. Lower down. Back up to the forearm. Free arm up. Let's twist. Lift the legs. Pull the belly in. And return. And five. Remember, have the option two. Tuck the knees like a frog. And four. Three. Last two. Last one. And lower down, big chest. Bend the knee, help yourself up. Side bend over to the right first. Always bring both hands down. Keep pressing the belly in and up to try to elongate those back muscles. The hands on the floor is also pressing the floor away. Now turn the chest up to the ceiling. You can take the opposite hand to grab the opposite knee. Turn, swing your legs to the other side, and a side bend. To the left, you can have the hand or right on the opposite knee. Twist both hands down. Ooh, this side way hard of me. Bend in. Now chest all the way up. Let's turn now to all fours position. So hands are under your shoulders, knees under your hips. First thing that you're looking for, core activation. So belly in, we're gonna extend the right leg back. So we all, we first straight lift without compensation. So no sinking, no sagging on the low back. Opposite arm up, return. Renew your core. Opposite arm, opposite leg back, renew your core, back, renew, one more each side, we're gonna hold this one, little pose, arm and leg up, five, four, three, two, one, back, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and back. Separate your knees, push back to child's hold. Now legs parallel. Reach the arms all the way forward, stick the booty up. Try to bring the chest down, chain on the floor, looking forward. That's to open the chest. Give mobility to the mid and upper back. Pull the belly in. Good. Roll to your spine, walking the hands back. Ooh. Let's see, let's do now um, a plank position with some arm work. So hands under the shoulders, plank. I'm gonna separate my legs. To match with the core, trying to keep the hip as more center and square as possible. Take the opposite hand to tap opposite shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Hands down, 
I like to turn my fingers slightly in. You're gonna rest my knees down and come to a push up. So bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades, bring the chest between the hands and up. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And back one more time. Last thing here in all fours. We're gonna tuck the toes under. Engage the core just like always. Lift both knees and let's give you a little twist. Hip to the right, knees to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. And four. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Last two. And last one. Long neck. Center. Knees down. Child pose. I know I said that was the last. We're not gonna keep the all fours, but let's come here to start with the exercise. Lift the knees an inch, just push up to a down facing dog. Our main goal is to straighten the spine. Bend your knees if you have to. Stretch the mat forward, chest to the legs. And knees down. Go back to your child's pose. Very good. Now let's just stand strong on the floor. We're gonna sit for the legs in quick apart. Arms forward. Roll down with control. If you need help, bring your hands behind you. You can walk your hands back. You can bring down to the forearms. And keep it rolled down, whatever is available for you. Legs straight, arms straight, squeeze the legs together. First thing, tuck your pelvis to activate the core. Curl up, lift the arms, lift the legs, pump those arms, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You want to keep this space between chin and chest. Four more. Three. And two. Oh, one. We're gonna keep the right leg straight, bring the left knee in. Inside hand on the knee, outside hand on the ankle. Chest enter, elbows out, shoulders down. Switch. Switch. Eight. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, and one. Go all the way down. Dragon is open to a butterfly. <sighs> Arms on the floor. Two, you're almost there. Legs up. And both knees to the right. You can turn your head to the opposite side. Legs back to center. Both knees to the left. Ah, and we can move to the right. So here while you breathe, you want to exhale and allow your chest to turn to the right, hip to the left, increasing that twist. But naturally, don't force. Bring back. It's easy to bring one leg at a time. Extend both legs on the floor. We're going to separate them hip width apart, a little wider than that. Arms up. Draw the belly in. Uh, guide yourself in a high diagonal. Up, 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 up. Bend over your legs. 
and stack the spine tall. And we are all done for today. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you guys see me again in another video. Have a good day.